excited to be playing our, our first home game uh, this week. We're playing a very good team in Jacksonville State. Um, they are very talented, uh, more talented than some Division I uh, teams. They've got some transfers that uh, definitely can flat out play. They've got a coaching staff that I'm very impressed with. Um, their code DC, Brandon Hall, was actually a coach that coached with me at, at uh, safeties at Arkansas State. He was also an off the field guy here in 2013. Their head coach, uh, Coach Gross, is a, a very good coach. Uh, he actually coached Rock Thomas at Oxford High uh, when he was there. Um, you know, this is a, a quality opponent, and our focus is on getting better. And uh, our guys can turn on the film and see that uh, you know we're going to have our hands full. Questions. Tyler Quinn had surgery. Yes, he did. Yeah, he, he did. But you know, it was something that's kind of been bothering him uh, during fall camp uh, with his elbow, and we just felt strong that we need to go ahead and get that uh, procedure done, get him back for spring. Tommy Jonathan Wallace will be the guy that will step up uh, and play a little more quarterback, kind of like we talked about a couple weeks ago. Tommy John surgery. Um, it's, it's similar. Gus, you've never had, well, I shouldn't say never. You, the last time you had a quarterback throw three interceptions was David Johnson in 08. Just what was your takeaway of, obviously, if Jeremy looked like he was yeah. pressing, but that was a rough performance historically for a quarterback for you. Yeah, it, you know, you know, we, we've talked about it. I mean, uh, Jeremy early on made some decisions that he'd like to have back, but, uh, you know, he'll correct them. You know, Dave Johnson ended up having a, you know, a super career and uh, really feel strong that Jeremy will do the same thing. I know he's ready to get back on that practice field and get better and, you know, get ready for this, this area. Was he trying to, I mean, all the, all the attention and everything that has been talked, was he trying to, trying too hard, maybe pressing yeah, You know, I, I, I think he was definitely trying to, to make some plays down the field early, you know, which is to be expected now. I mean, there's a lot of quarterbacks that do that. and. You know, just let it come within the offense, and he'll do that. I mean, uh, we have, <laughs> we still have just as much or more confidence in Jeremy Johnson we did before the game. And you know, the great thing about Jeremy is he'll learn from his mistakes, and, uh, and he'll get better. Coach, uh, Jeremy was obviously, uh, understandably, a, a little frustrated after that game. Have you really said much to him since then, or do you feel that he's had the proper perspective? Well, the thing about Jeremy, he's a great competitor. and He's extremely tough on himself. And, and I think the special quarterbacks that I've been fortunate enough to be around, they were the same way. And, uh, you know, he's ready to get back on the practice field and ready to get back out there Saturday and, and improve. And, and that's the mindset you have to have, and not just quarterback, but all positions. I guess the guys that are hurt, do you anticipate them being yeah, ready to go Saturday? Yeah, everybody to play. I'm expecting everybody to play. I mean, this is a – it's a quality opponent. We need to get better. And uh, there's no <coughs> talk about, you know, our next opponent at LSU. I mean, we're worried about Jacksonville State. We're expecting everybody to play, and, and uh, we need to get ready. Coach, why did uh, Josh Holson not get in on defense? Uh, he, he was a little banged up, uh, but he, he'll be back out there today ready to go. And, uh, you know, I, I believe you'll see him on the field on Saturday. about the defensive front, uh, you know, you know better than most of us that it takes more than four and looks like you, you're pretty solid uh, too deep there. Just talk about the way that they look when you saw them. Yeah, you know, I thought they did a good job. They disrupted things. You know, even in the second half, they disrupted things. Uh, we just lost contain on that, that young quarterback, and he, he was electric. Um, you know, Coach Muschamp really wants to, to develop that depth early. And, you know, he really believes in playing those younger guys and um, you know, do nothing but help us, you know, in the future as the season goes on because you need depth up front. Are mobile quarterbacks a, a concern for you guys going forward after, after that game? Well, that mobile quarterback was. I mean, you know, I mean, he was electric. I mean, you know, and the thing about it, you go into that game and there's a possibility of three different quarterbacks playing. It's a true freshman. They had a few new wrinkles for him, and, uh, you know, he played, and we lost contain a couple times. And, uh, you know, when you play mobile quarterbacks, you just got to contain them, keep them in that pocket, and try to make them beat you with an arm, you know. But, you know, give them credit. He did a good job, and he got out of contain, and he made some plays with his feet, you know, late in the game. Was there a noticeable difference to you when Carl Lawson was not on the field? Well, you know, like we said before, I mean, he's an impact player. 
when he doesn't make the play, he helps other people make the play. And you know, when, when there's elite players, when they're not on the field, you know, things are different. But other people need to step up. You know, and there's no doubt in, in, in our minds that that'll happen. And it did at times, even Saturday. Yes, how much did you learn about your team from the first game? Yeah, we learned a lot. Uh, that's what our staff talked about in all three phases. We learned a lot about not only our team, we learned about some individuals. We learned a whole lot about the young guys. You know, because you know, young guys, you never know how they're going to react until you get out there in the game. And uh, so we feel very good about our team moving forward. Uh, I think everybody saw the freshmen and the, the new faces that actually played for the first time wearing an Auburn uniform. And it's encouraging from the standpoint that we did some good things and the things that we need to improve on, we feel like are all correctable and we feel like that, uh, you know, they can all be corrected and we can get better. Gus, besides quarterback play, what are the two or three big things you want to improve on? Well, you know, up front, when you got those new faces, just the communication, getting used to working together. Uh, there's nothing better than experience, you know, with new centers, new guards, your rotating guards, and then the tackle guard uh, communication. You know, that'll get better throughout the year. And, uh, and just the little things probably <laughs> in, in all positions, just, just improving. Yes. Yes. That's good. When you have five holding calls for the stick up mm -hmm. and one takes away that big touchdown, yeah. just what we should take away of, of having four different linemen called for. Yeah, you know, when you look at it, it was some communication uh, issues that really caused our problem. We overslid a couple times right there. They were counting on the guy inside of them. So all those things are correctable. And uh, that's kind of what I was saying about the communication. And there's nothing better than getting a guy beside you and you know how he's going to react on certain things in that that uh, you know that, that experience, and so that'll definitely help us because I think three of them, uh, those holding penalties were very similar to that type of uh, uh, miscommunication. Gus, is there hope that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, is there hope? I thought he was continuing. Sorry, uh, Jason Smith. Uh, he had the explosive play, like James yeah. said, it was called back. Do you see more of that happening for him getting that opportunity? Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, he he's electric and. Uh, when he's got the ball in his hands, he can really do something. And I think, you know, he made an unbelievable route, you know, at the top of the route, leaned it, and, you know, just kept running through the football. And he is a guy that's getting more and more comfortable in the offense. And uh, so, so definitely we'll see more Jason Smith, you know, uh, each game. Would you consider moving him to quarterback at all? If you, get a you know, we may have a package for him. I mean, he's, he's comfortable there. But, uh, you know, it's kind of that balance that, you know, we would like his role to be bigger, you know, in the receiver position. So it's kind of that balance that you just got to figure out, you know, what uh, what is best to do. But as the season goes on, he gives you a lot of flexibility. Will Jonathan be more quarterback than receiver now? With you know, now that we're making this call, uh, it's going to be a little more quarterback than receiver, but he's still going to help us at receiver. Because this left guard rotation that we've heard you guys are playing going into this game, but how much at all is it based on feel during the game? You know, talk to JVs and what are you saying? Yeah, you, you know, uh, leading up to the game, you know, they were both a little banged up in the ball camp, having a little issues, and so we let them both uh, share the reps. Both of them deserve to play like we talked about. And then you get to see them in a game, and, and that usually helps, but both of them did a solid job. And uh, so, you know, we'll continue to do that a little, a little longer. I guess you anticipate Peyton Barber's confidence kind of skyrocketing after Saturday and maybe. You know, I think it's got to. Yeah. You know, there's nothing like going out there and, and doing it. And you're doing it and, um, and you do it good. That gives you confidence. And uh, he's a, not a very experienced player. So, you know, my experience is that those guys were really kind of razor level. And really, I think we'll even see that in practice today. Is the text message on Thursday night just part of his personality, or, or did, was that a yeah, – Yeah, you know, just, you know, Thursday, I think he made one alignment um, problem on Thursday during practice, and it was just on his mind. And, you know, he's tough on himself. And like, like we said with Jeremy, the guys that are tough on themselves, they got a chance to be really good. And uh, it was just one of those things, hey, I'm, you know, won't make the same mistake, I'll be ready Saturday. And there's, you know, to say, there's no doubt you're definitely ready, and he was. Well, he, yeah, well, he uh, started this Saturday. We'll, we'll see. I mean, uh, we're not ready to say say that right now, but he's in a very good spot. What did you see out of uh, Montrevious Adams? What would you like to see? 
Well, I think Montrevis had his best overall game since he's been here. Uh, played quite a few snaps. He played extremely hard. Uh, he was very, very disruptive. I mean, he's the <coughs> one that caused the fumble that got picked up for six points. And, you know, he put a lot of pressure in the quarterback's face on on uh, the passing downs and, of course, in the run game, he was very good. But he took that next step, you know, and Coach Muschamp really was challenging him and Coach Garner challenged him just to take that next step about being an elite player and playing with unbelievable effort and intensity, and he took that to heart. Gus Duke was spending more of the time at the, back at the Y position as opposed to the X. Say that. Gus was – Duke was spending more of his time at the inside Y position as opposed to the X. Is that, is that just a matchup situation? Are you going to play him one? You know, or? he'll have a chance to play both. He, you know, he knows both. And the great thing about the seniors that we have, uh, we can move those three around, and uh, they're able to execute our offense. Do you expect to play all three running backs? What's that? Do you expect to play all three running backs Saturday? Uh, yes, possibly four. Do you want to get Karen on more involved in a game like this before you go to the SEC? We, we want to get Karen on involved regardless. You know, um, you know, last week he was a little bit, you know, banged up. It wasn't completely 100%, uh, but we expect him to be this week. When you look around the league, there's a lot of new or inexperienced quarterbacks, and a lot of them can turn to star tailbacks for 30, 20, 30 carries. How much, how much strength is there tailback in this league? And, and yeah, you talking about Auburn. for us? You talking about other teams? For the league wide, but but also for Auburn, seems like there's a lot. You know, I mean, I'm thinking about Jacksonville State. I couldn't really. I mean, uh, there's probably a lot of depth in the SEC, but as far as us, you can't have enough depth with what we do at running back. And uh, you know, playing three, and like we said, like to play four tailbacks. I mean, I, I think that's that's very um, that's very good because, like I said, you. You know, we got two of them banged up Saturday, you know, and so you just you can't have enough depth to tell back. Yes, what, did you make of the, what did you make of the play special teams as a whole on Saturday? I was encouraged with the special teams. I mean, we had a lot of freshmen, true freshmen, running around out there, and you, you saw their talent level. And, uh, you know, I really feel like just from a talent standpoint, I think we're in uh, better shape than we were, uh, you know, last year from a talent standpoint. Now, execution, we made some mistakes, but we'll have a chance to be good on special teams. I really feel that way. What, what did you think about Marcus Davis specifically? He only got one return, but yeah. I mean, he at least secured it. Didn't. Yeah, <laughs> and then he came up and caught the one in in traffic. I thought he made a good decision on the one to get away. I mean, his communication was very good. Um, so I thought Marcus Davis did a very good job. You talked about the off ball camp preparing for the big video board. I mean, exactly how does, it, how does that look? How do you prepare for something like that? Well, you know, we've went.